about staging of carcinoma cervix this is the cervix endo uh, sorry internal loss external loss this will be the endo cervix this will be the ecto cervix usually the carcinoma usually arises from the transformation zone also called as the squamocolumna junction and this is the uterus this is the parametrium this is the lateral pelvic wall this is the vagina upper one third middle one third and the lower one third okay now uh, this is the ureter which is straight to the kidney and these are the blood vessels and yeah so uh, carcinoma cervix usually arises from here and if it's confined to the cervix if it's confined to the cervix it is stage one now there are sub stages of stage one i'll be telling that in a while now uh, if this uh, uh, if this carcinoma if this uh, spreads to the upper two third of the vagina like that or if it spreads to the parametrium but not until the lateral pelvic wall then it is called stage 2 in this sta stage 2 is divided into a and b so it related to the vaginal wall so upper two third of the vaginal wall if it's involved it is 2a and if the parametrium is involved it is 2b but the parametrium is not until the lateral pelvic wall okay now coming to stage 3 is when the lower one third of the vagina is involved this is stage 3a okay uh, 3 is divided into a b and c so a is related to the lower one third of the vagina now 3b is the extension of the parametrium until the lateral pelvic wall so the la so the involvement will be until the lateral pelvic wall this is 3b or since the ureter crosses in this area so because uh, it, this is involved the urine will be obstructed and it will cause hydrourontonephrosis. So HUN will be there or because of this, because of this, there can be non-functioning kidney as well. So these are all the 3 or 3B. Okay, 3B. Uh, so now I said A, B and C are there in the stage 3. So what is C? Is C is the lymph node involvement lymph node so um, this is the pelvis right so um, lymph nodes inside the pelvis so including the common iliac external iliac internal obturator presacral all of those are pelvic lymph nodes so if pelvic lymph nodes are involved it is 3 c1 if beyond pelvis in the sense parietic lymph nodes are involved then it is 3 c2 and it is 3 c2 uh, now coming to 4a and 4b 4a is uh, uh, the 4a is spreading anteriorly and posteriorly to the uh, bladder or rectum okay so this will be 4a with the pelvic um, organs are involved 4b will be distant organs like liver or lungs so this will be 4b so summarizing this will be for uh, this is figo staging so stage one is confined to the cervix it is divided into a and b a is microscopic uh, microscopic uh, carcinoma and b is visible tumor so a is again divided into one and two and uh, visible is one and two uh, so this is less than two centimeter two to four centimeters in a b is uh, again divided into one and two is less than four centimeter this is more than four centimeter okay um now stage 2 is beyond cervix beyond cervix like i like i told you like from the cervix to the parametrium or the vagina so beyond cervix up till the upper two third of the vagina it's 2a uh, parametrium involved not until the lateral pelvic wall is 2b and 3 is beyond cervix again but lower one third of the vagina is involved is a b a 3b is um, parametrium involved until the lateral pelvic wall hun or non-functioning kidney c is in lymph node involvement again divided into one and two one is pelvic lymph node involvement two is paraiotic lymph node involvement so uh, four is the mets mets a is within the true pelvis to the bladder or the rectum and b is to beyond the true pelvis like lung liver or anything else